name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, I adore thee profoundly. I offer thee the most precious body and blood, soul and divinity of Jesus Christ present in all the tabernacles of the world in reparation for the outrages, sacrileges, and indifferences by which he is offended. And through the infinite merits of his most sacred heart and of the immaculate heart of Mary, I beg of thee the conversion of poor sinners. Amen. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love thee. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love thee. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love thee. Sancte Michael Archangeli, defende nos in predio, contra nequitiam et insidias diaboli esto presidium, imperatri Deus supices de precamor, tuque princeps militiae celestis, satana mariosque spiritus manignos, quel perdizione mani marum pevagantur in mundo, divine virtute in inferno de trude. Amen. Our Lady of the Rosary, pray for us. As we prepare to enter into these sorrowful mysteries on this third Sunday of Lent, let us open our hearts with joy to the incredible graces God has in store. Right now, during these next few minutes of the Rosary, Our Lady is going to distribute an abundance of graces to our hearts and souls and to many other souls throughout the world because of the prayers of this Rosary, uh, above all because of her own prayers joined to ours and all the saints who will be praying with us. And we pray in congratulations to Jim and, uh, actually we pray for Jim and Debbie, and I say congratulations, on their 48th wedding anniversary today. There's so many of you, uh, let's say there's a, there's a whole portion of you in our Rosary Crusade who are, have celebrated or are celebrating your 48th or your 50th wedding anniversary, who've lived fidelity to marriage um, amidst the turmoil of these past 50 years. And so, God bless you. I will pray that God give special graces of joy and of celebration, and especially that He give you growth and holiness during this next year of your marriage, that you might give yourselves evermore in love for His Sacred Heart, sacrificing yourselves for Him, and thus lay down your lives in love for one another. And then for a great many in need of healing. St. Joseph, terror of demons, cast thy solemn gaze upon the devil and all his minions, and protect us with thy mighty staff. Thou fled through the night to avoid the devil's wicked designs. Now with the power of God smite the demons as they flee from thee. Grant special protection, we pray, for children, fathers, mothers, families, and the dying. By God's grace no demon dares approach while thou art near. So we beg of thee, Saint Joseph, Always be near to us. Amen. Saint Joseph, the terror of demons, pray for us. Eternal Father, we offer you the most precious body and blood, soul and divinity of your divine Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in union with all the holy masses which are said throughout the world, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home, and within my own family. Amen. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. 
I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first sorrowful mystery, the agony in the garden, we ask for the fruit of the mystery, fervor in prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. The second sorrowful mystery, the scourging at the pillar, we ask for the fruit of the mystery, a spirit of mortification. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. The third sorrowful mystery, the crowning with thorns, we ask for the fruit of the mystery, moral courage. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. The fourth sorrowful mystery, the carrying of the cross. We ask for the fruit of the mystery, patience. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. The fifth sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion and death of our Savior upon the cross. We ask for the fruit of the mystery, forgiveness of injuries, and a spirit of self-sacrifice. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. O Jesus, I choose to live this day for love of thee, for the conversion of sinners, and in reparation for the sins committed against the Immaculate Heart of Mary. 
Amen. Ave Regina Celorum, Ave Domina Angelorum, Salve Radix, Salve Porta, Ex qua mundo lux est torta, Gaude Virgo Gloriosa, Super Omnes Speciosa, Male ovalde decora, e pro nobis Christum exora. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech you, that by meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God, through the intercession of the Immaculate Heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary, pour His graces upon each one of your families. Benedictio Dei Omnipotentis, Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti, Descendat super vos et maniat semper. Amen. Thank you very much for being part of this Our Lady of Fatima Rosary Crusade. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the Holy Rosary. But before you go, I almost forgot thinking about the Rosary. Today is Sunday, and so I get to share with you the next step of the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. And we're going to go now into the insensation. Uh, have you ever wondered why at the Mass... Are, is the congregation incensed? So the priest incenses the, the offerings on the altar, uh, the tabernacle, the relics of saints. But why does the priest receive incense and the altar boys and the whole congregation is incensed? Because you're not God, I'm not God. So why is it that we receive incense? And I'll be speaking a little bit about that today. And then above all of the prayers, the traditional prayers said during the incensation of the altar and through the end of the offertory. Uh, so if you're able to stay with me, please do. And the readings for today are the first reading is from the epistle of blessed Paul the Apostle to the Ephesians. Brethren, be ye followers of God as most dear children. And walk in love as Christ also hath loved us and hath delivered himself for us, an oblation and a sacrifice to God for an odor of sweetness. But fornication and all uncleanness or covetousness, let it not so much as be named among you as becometh saints, or obscenity or foolish talking or scurrility, which is to no purpose but rather giving of thanks. For know you this, and understand, that no fornicator or unclean or covetous person, which is a serving of idols, hath inheritance in the kingdom of God and kingdom of Christ and of God. Let no man deceive you with vain words, for because of these things cometh the anger of God upon the children of unbelief. Be ye not therefore partakers with them, for you were heretofore darkness, but now light in the Lord. Walk then as children of the light, for the fruit of the light is in all goodness and justice and truth. Then from the continuation of the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. At that time, Jesus was casting out a devil, and the same was dumb. And when he had cast out the devil, the dumb spoke, and the multitudes were in admiration at it. But some of them said, He casteth out devils by Beelzebub, the prince of devils. And others, tempting, asked of him a sign from heaven. But he, seeing their thoughts, said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself shall be brought to desolation, and house upon house shall fall. And if Satan also be divided against himself, how shall his kingdom stand? 
because you say that though through Beelzebub I cast out devils. Now if I cast out devils by Beelzebub, by whom do your children cast them out? Therefore they shall be your judges. But if by the finger of God I cast out devils, doubtless the kingdom of God is come upon you. When a strong man armed keepeth his court, those things are in peace which he possesseth. But if a stronger than he is come upon him and overcome him, he will take away all his armor wherein he trusted and will distribute his spoils. He that is not with me is against me, and he that gathereth not with me scattereth. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through places without water, seeking rest. And not finding, he saith, I will return into my house whence I came out. And when he is come, he findeth it swept and garnished. And he goeth and taketh with him seven other spirits more wicked than himself. And entering in, they dwell there. And the last state of that man becomes worse than the first. And it came to pass, as he spoke these things, a certain woman from the crowd, lifting up her voice, said to him, Blessed is the womb that bore thee, and the paps that gave thee suck. But he said, Yea, rather, blessed are they who hear the word of God and keep it. This gospel is extremely rich. Even though I'm going to preach on something else when I read it, there's all sorts of teaching about uh, the enemy, his tactics, um, how to fight him and so forth, what he tries to do. The, the house divided cannot stand. That's one of, his, uh, one of his tactics over and over again is to cause unnecessary divisions, jealousies, um, bitter hatred, and so forth. But we're going to focus today on instead the continuation of the offertory. And so the moment in the Mass when, as the offertory is continuing, the priest imposes incense and then incenses, first of all, the, the sacred host, about to become our Lord's body and blood, soul and divinity, the chalice, and then the, the crucifix, uh, along with the tabernacle, the different relics of the saints, the altar itself, and then the priest is incensed, and then the acolytes, and then all of you, all of the congregation receives uh, incense as well. So why is that if you're not God and I'm not God? It's because of the presence of God within you. You are a son or a daughter of the King of Kings. And not just his son or daughter, but Jesus Christ himself, the most holy trinity, if you're in a state of grace, is living in your soul. And that's why the, the relics of the saints receive honor because of the presence of Christ that live within them. And so also the altar is incensed because it's connected so deeply to our Lord where he will be where the holy sacrifice of the Mass is offered. And so also all of us. And that's a very good reminder because we're always tempted to think, well, God is there and I'm here and I should try to be good and love him, but really... There's only so much I can do. And that's a, a hidden tactic of the enemy is to have you not make an act of faith in who you really are, or I should say who you really can be, with the grace of Christ. And so the insensation is a reminder of that. And not just a reminder, it's a blessing. The, the priest, when he, he gives the blessing, so these are the words he says at the offertory. It's by the intercession of St. Michael the Archangel who stands at the right hand of the altar of incense. So speaking of St. Michael standing at the right hand of God's altar in heaven by his intercession and the intercession of all of the saints, all of God's saints, may this incense, uh, sorry, may God bless this incense and receive it as an odor of sweetness. And then that blessing of God, which the priest calls down upon it as the prayers continue, he asks for God's blessing and mercy to be poured out on us. And so the incense is just like holy water convey, conveys a blessing from God to us. So also this incense is being burnt for the glory of God, but also 
to communicate graces and blessings to us. And so you're receiving those graces when you are, when the, the acolyte incenses you. And then, the, as the priest incenses the offerings, he says this incense which has been blessed by God may it arise towards you, O Lord, and may your mercy come upon us. All throughout the Mass, the priest keeps asking for mercy. On the one hand, acknowledging the, the holiness of God and our need for mercy. And then, as the priest uh, incenses around the altar, he prays a beautiful psalm, saying, Let my prayer, O Lord, like incense before you arise. The lifting of my hands like the evening sacrifice. And once again, a prayer for protection and mercy. Continuing, he says, Lord, set a watch before my mouth, a guard at the door of my lips. Let not my heart incline to the evil of engaging in deeds of wickedness. So as the priest goes around and as he's saying these prayers, he's once again asking for purification, for protection, because we're about to enter into the holiest part of the Mass. Then he asks for the, the may the Lord enkindle the fire of his love, uh, that burning flame, that fire uh, of everlasting charity within our hearts. And then there is the washing of the hands. So after offering the Lord incense, after uh, that gesture that should remind you that you're a son or a daughter of the King of Kings, then what should you think about as your hands are being washed? I mean, sorry, as the priest's hands are being washed. Well, here's the prayer that the priest says. He says, I will wash my hands among the innocent. It's a psalm. And I will compass thine altar, O Lord. What that means is I will be among those who, who gather close around your altar. I will wash my hands among the innocent. I will compass, compass thine altar, O Lord, that I may hear the voice of praise and tell of thy wondrous works. I have loved, O Lord, the beauty of thy house and the place where thy glory dwelleth. Take not away my soul, O God, with the wicked, nor my life with bloodthirsty men, in whose hands are iniquities, their right hand is filled with gifts. And so, just as we saw at the beginning of the Mass, this very realistic sense of where we are in this world, surrounded by enemies, above all spiritual enemies, but, but also human enemies. Then it continues, But I have entered in, in my innocence. Redeem me and have mercy on me. My foot hath stood in the direct way, in the churches I will bless thee, Lord. What does that mean? Why is the psalmist saying on the one hand, why do we pray at that moment, I have entered in in my innocence, but then it says, redeem me, have mercy on me. Well, what is, what is my innocence when the priest says those words? My innocence is the very person of Jesus Christ himself, whose merits uh, have closed the soul through his grace in baptism and in so many other graces. And so he's saying, I've entered in, I've entered in all this, all the purification that's been going on in the, in the first part of the Mass. I've entered in my innocence. It's with the grace, the innocence of Jesus Christ that I have confidence to enter into the Holy of Holies here, into the, the very sanctuary and offer the sacrifice of the Mass. And at the same time, it acknowledges our need for purification, saying, redeem me and have mercy on me. My foot has stood in the direct way. So by the grace of God, I have walked. It's not, it's not the merits of Jesus Christ covering me from the outside and I remain completely corrupt. No, God really has uh, changed me. I have walked, at least to some degree, in the innocent way, in the direct way. Um, in the churches, I will bless thee, Lord. And so after that prayer and the washing of the hands, again, asking for that purification, redeem me, have mercy on me, but also that washing of the hands is as it were a final physical gesture. Okay, all the preparation for the heart of the Mass has now been complete. Now we're going to enter into the heart of the Mass. The washing of the hands is, is um, the last remnants, if you will, of that preparation, though you'll see the priest continues to ask for mercy. 
but the stage is now the stage is now set for entering into the heart of the holy fact sacrifice of the mass. And there's one last prayer that at this moment the priest comes to the middle of the altar after so I've always washed his hands here, finishes, and then he comes and then looking up and then going down, he says a prayer bowed before the altar. So bowed like this in a gesture of prostration. Uh, if you were falling on his face, he doesn't literally fall on his face, but that's what he's trying to do with his soul before God. And he says these words, Receive, O Holy Trinity, this oblation which we make to thee. So what's the oblation? It's the holy sacrifice of Jesus Christ on the cross that's about to be renewed. Receive, O Holy Trinity, this oblation which we make to thee, in memory of the passion, resurrection, and ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ. And so right away the priest thinks back with joy, with thanksgiving, remembering the passion, the resurrection, and the ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ. And then it continues drawing our minds towards the saints. And in honor of Blessed Mary, ever virgin, Blessed John the Baptist, the holy apostles Peter and Paul, and of all the saints, that it may avail unto their honor and our salvation. And may they vouchsafe to intercede for us in heaven, whose memory we celebrate on earth. And so, just before going into the, the Sanctus and the different prayers, the, the preface, the priest says this prayer, calling to mind all the saints who are gathered around the altar, eager. He says, may the sacrifice be for your honor, and may it be obtain graces for us, that is, may it um, for our salvation. And so I'll stop right there, uh, where the stage is now set for entering into the, the holiest parts of the Mass. And next week we'll continue looking at the preface, the Sanctus, and perhaps the beginning of the what's called the Canon of the Mass, the holiest part of the Mass. So thank you very much for being part of this Our Lady of Fatima Rosary Crusade. Uh, it's going to be a great joy, I hope, one day in heaven to meet all of you. In the meantime, please accept my gratitude for being part of this Rosary Crusade. I look forward to praying with you tomorrow. <laughs>